making video. So this week I'm going to be making fish goujons. Now we're not going to be using the typical bread coating, instead we're going to be using oats. Now I know that sounds a bit weird and you think I've gone completely mad that I'm using a breakfast food with fish, but I promise you it is absolutely delicious and it makes them really lovely and crispy. Um, and to flavour it I'm going to be using some parsley, some lemon, some garlic, some salt, some mustard powder and then some pepper. I've then got some eggs so we're going to whisk the eggs up and that's going to help the coating to stick onto our fish. Now for the fish I personally prefer haddock but you can use any white fish, you could use some cod if you prefer um, but I think the haddock has a really beautiful flavour. Um, just when you're sourcing your fish just keep an eye out for the MSC label so it's the sustainable wild fishing label. And then to serve with our goujons I'm going to be doing a delicious gorgeous pea and rocket smash which is a bit like a supercharged mushy peas. So I'm just going to start by just cutting my fish down into equal pieces. This is usually the part where my dog starts hanging around. You don't want them too big because then they start kind of breaking apart. So I'm just going to set this aside for a second. So now we can get on with making our coating. So first things first, I'm going to put the oats into the food processor and then just let them blend and process down into a really, really fine crumb. You want them to kind of be as thin as possible to get them nice and crispy. Okay, so that should be enough. So it's a really, really fine kind of floury mixture now. And the next things I'm going to put in, I'm going to start off with some garlic. I love garlic. I just use it in everything and it gives this a really really lovely flavour and also it's just got so many different health benefits so I do try to kind of throw it in wherever possible. And then I'm going to go in with the zest of a lemon. You don't want to get too into the white pith because it gets a bit bitter so we kind of just want the lovely yellow goodness on the outside. It just smells so good. I think using lemons is such a good way to kind of cheer up grey weather as well. Lovely, and then we're going to keep this to the side because we're going to use it in our pea smash. And then I'm going to go in with some parsley. Now, for this recipe, I say use about a small handful, and this that used to irritate me when I started cooking because I was like, what is a small handful? So generally, I'm going to use about, probably about this much. I love parsley. It's such a versatile herb. It's hugely rich in antioxidants, and it promotes good breath, interestingly. Of course, if you don't like parsley, then... You can just leave it out or you can use something that you do like instead. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a kick with some mustard powder, some salt, a few grinds of black pepper, and that is all good to go. So I'm gonna blend it up so that everything's really nicely combined and it's really, really fine. So that should be enough. Oh, it just smells amazing. When you first take that lid off, it's like, oh, beautiful smell. It's very, very fragrant. So you can see that it's a really kind of fine, dusty, beautiful, flowery texture. So I'm now just gonna put this into a bowl to make it easier to put it onto the fish. And there is our coating ready to go. So I'll just pop that there next to the fish for now. And then the last thing we need to do is just to whisk up the eggs. If you're looking for fancy egg cracking, then I'm not the girl for you. <laughs> Maybe that should be my goal this year, to get better at cracking eggs and look a bit more professional. And then I'm just going to give them a really nice whisk. So that's the egg done. I've left the yolk in there because the yolk has got so much nutrition and also it's full of vitamin D, which we get from the sun, which most of us are in England at least are lacking at the moment, especially in the latest lockdown. All that's left to do is to dip our fish sticks into some egg mixture and then into our floury mixture and just really make sure that they're kind of well coated and you pat the coating on so that they're really well covered and then you can set them aside. Now if you're really professional you can actually have one hand for the wet mixture and one for the dry. I failed already and I usually start with the best intentions and by the end of it I end up with clumps on the ends of my fingers so you can you can do what you like there. Let's see, I told you, my hands are already completely covered, but you know what, the messier the better. 
once you've coated all of your goujons in the lovely oat coating, you can just set this aside and then wash your hopefully very mucky hands. And then we can get on with the peas. So to start off with, you just need to bring some peas to the boil, cook them, drain them, and then we're going to put them into the food processor. In with the peas, I'm also gonna add some uh, olive oil, always extra virgin, because it's less refined and it's a lovely healthy fat. I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt. You can always add more at the end if you want um, more salt. And then I'm gonna add in half a lemon. So this is the lemon that we were using for the zest earlier. You can use the lemon juice if you like, but for some reason I always just tend to get it in my eye. <laughs> Finally, we're going to add in our rocket. So rocket is actually a cruciferous vegetable. So it's in the same family as kale and broccoli and Brussels sprouts, and it is loaded with nutrition. So it's just gonna supercharge this mushy pea mix. And then we're just going to blend it. So you can blend it to the consistency you like. I personally prefer a crush rather than a munch. A munch. I personally prefer a crush rather than a mash, uh, but you can do whatever you like. I'm gonna pulse it. Okay, just have a look at it. That looks pretty good to me. So you just don't want the rocket too long and stringy, so you wanna make sure it's nicely broken up. And then we can just pop it into a bowl. Just make sure you get every last little bit of goodness out. Look at that color. This smells amazing too, actually. You can either um, let this go cold or you can keep it in a low oven just to keep it warm. Completely up to you. All that's left to do is to cook our goujon. So for this, I'm gonna use a big frying skillet pan um, and I'm also gonna use coconut oil because it's got a higher smoke point so it won't damage at a higher heat. And then we're going to cook our goujons for two to three minutes on each side until they're nice and crispy and cooked all the way through. So you wanna be quite careful as you're putting them in because you don't wanna scrape any of the coating off of the outside. And and then depending on the size of your pan, you might want to cook them in two batches and you might need to add a little bit more oil in between. So we can just pop them onto a serving plate, try and make them look nice and presentable. And then if you wanted to, you could just cut up some of the lemon to serve with them. And there are your fish goujons. The haddock works really well because it holds its shape and they just taste amazing with the oat coating and a beautiful pea smash, which you can see that I've already been in the pea smash because it's all up the side. Um, but the rocket gives it such a beautiful peppery taste um, and a real kick. There's only one thing left to do. Mm. That's really good. That is just the divine combination. Please go and make them now because they are so good. And I'm just gonna stand here and eat them. Enjoy!